and a nearly 50-year fight for justice is over. Citing a lack of evidence and other factors, an Oklahoma County judge has ruled Glenn Simmons will not face a new murder trial. Simmons was first convicted 48 years ago of shooting a liquor store clerk to death during a robbery in Edmond and shooting a second woman in the head who survived. His conviction was first vacated in July and he was out on bond as he waited for a decision on a new trial. News 4's Ashley Moss brings us the update. Glenn Simmons says he served 48 years, 5 months and 13 days in prison. That makes him the longest serving exonerated man in recorded U.S. history. I'm free. I'm a free man. It is so ordered. It's this single line that makes everything final for Glenn Ray Simmons. Glenn's exonerated. Hats off again to Vicki Bahena. She did the right thing. We had a great judge. The decision to scratch his case and murder conviction comes after an acknowledgement that his 1975 trial was conducted unfairly. For Mr. Simmons, there's resolve, or perhaps that's relief in his eyes. He's maintained his innocence from the beginning. Validation and vindication has, has finally happened. It's a lesson in, in, in resilience and tenacity. And you know, when you when you when you know you're free, when you know you're innocent. And stick with it. He's flanked by his attorneys who say with this outcome, they hope to shed light on flaws within the court system. I hope that we can make some policy changes uh, to try and, if not eliminate, reduce what's happened to Glenn. Calling attention to this prominent message over the Oklahoma County Courthouse. Equal and exact justice to all men. Mm -hmm. All men. And uh, that hadn't been true always for black men in our country. And really isn't true today. Racial disparities persist within the state's incarceration rates. While black Oklahomans make up about 8% of the total population, more than one in four people in Oklahoma's prisons are black. So the numbers don't add up. So when we talk about, you know, justice, you got to also consider race in the issue. There's a lot of guys left behind where I came from, not fortunate to have the team that I had on my side. You know, and they're still languishing in there. Glenn plans to stay involved with criminal justice reform. For now, he forges ahead. It looks exciting. It's look, you know, it looks beautiful. And I plan to enjoy myself, you know. Whatever life I have left, you know, really enjoy myself. Ashley Moss, Oklahoma's News 4. Well, Mr. Simmons is currently raising money to help offset the cost of rebuilding his life, such as housing, transportation, and medical needs, as he's currently undergoing chemotherapy for cancer. We have details about ways you can help on our website.